And the Oscar goes to Killian Murphy. <laughs> Thank you to the Academy. Um, Chris Nolan and Emma Thomas, it's been the, the wildest, most exhilarating, most creatively satisfying journey you've taken me on over the last 20 years. I owe you more than I can say. Thank you so much. And the Oscar goes to Christopher Nolan Oppenheimer. Um, I, I have so many people to thank. The most incredible, uh, so many others, all at the top of their game, led by the incredible Killian Murphy. Thank you very much. Seven Oscars tonight for actor in a supporting role, film editor. Uh, Killian Murphy is one of the great actors of his generation, and, and I was very fortunate to start working with him very early in his career. And uh, he's done a lot of great work for me in a lot of different movies. Well, I've been working with Chris for so long now, I'm kind of used to them. It, it's, not, it's not really a big deal. And the only thing about them is they make a tremendous racket, but then we do a sound take afterwards. So, you know, you, you, you get used to the environment. It feels like a laboratory when you're working on Chris Nolan's set. But the performance was incredible, and everybody took huge notice of it while we were shooting it and while we watched the test. She murdered my parents, and they deserve it. But it just can turn a performance like completely yeah. on its axis. One, one sentence can yeah. just, yeah. Pretty good at that. Yeah. Well, that's very kind of you to say. But the thing about that not shooting in order and you having to figure out that puzzle for yourself. Mm, yeah. and I'm trying to write the real life Oppenheimer and looking at the copy of American Prometheus, the book I'm adapting, and there's this picture of the real life Oppenheimer with this intense blue-eyed stare looking out at me. And suddenly I'm like, okay, I know who can do that. And I've worked with Killian for 20 years. I know he's one of the great actors. But I've never worked with him as a leading man. And so this time, we've got to pick up the phone and say, okay, this is the one. This is the one where you're taking center stage. And not just that, I've written the script in the first person. You're going to have to take the audience with you. We're going to see everything through your eyes. The most dynamic, decent, kindest producer, director, partnership in Hollywood, Chris Nolan, thanks for... <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, the movie is so special to me and you know myself and Chris have such a special relationship but I, I just feel very privileged to be to be continue to work with him and I'm very proud that you know that time, this, we don't really talk about it too much it just sort of yeah. happens on set because I feel really safe being directed by him and really secure and you can really push yourself and he pushes me the weather kind of did what it needed to do as per what happened in history, which is kind of amazing. Do you remember all that wind kicked up and everything? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, I do remember. And, and, but that, you know, it only happens on his films. And it was kind of amazing. Because he was his second Palme d'Or? Yes, uh, one of the greatest living filmmakers. Working with him changed my approach to screen acting. Completely. How is he to work with? Absolutely amazing. Again, shot, everything shot chronologically. Really? You, there is no script, you, you don't... Um, you don't ever see this finished script until you, so you react completely viscerally, honest, honestly, and... So you use long lenses? All long lenses on sticks. So you're yeah. kind of... Yeah. 